tonight it's Alabama and Kentucky. Two unranked teams, but also two of the strongest fan bases in the country. Of course, only one for basketball. That's Kentucky, Alabama's football. But tonight for our throwdown, we want to know who has the best fans. So in the left corner, let's welcome Vincent Swope. Known to Kentucky Wildcat fans as the rep. And in the right corner, we welcome Hunter Johnson, alumni of the University of Alabama and Crimson Tide Superfan. We bring you a throwdown that would have made Martin Luther King so proud side by side. It's all about the fans. Who has the most passionate college fans in the nation? 30 seconds up on the clock. Let's get it on. All right, Vince, you're up first. I got a two-part question. One, you got to tell me why they call you the rep. And two, why is Big Blue Nation? the best fan base in the country all right well i'm known as the referee guy uh, last year january 7th i had a ten thousand dollar shot half court shot you know they only do it in kentucky and uh uk has the best fan base by far i mean we camp out for big blue madness we camp out days before games you know i mean our fans you just can't get any better fans than that i mean they come and go they travel they travel we travel we go to the mount invitational every year like I said, we can't find me. You can't do it better than the Big Blue Nation. Ooh, all right, all right, Hunter. Now, why is the tide? Why did they put the Big Blue Nation to shame? They travel to the Maui Invitational. We travel to national championship games. I mean, you know, we pack out stadiums everywhere we go. You know, if they put 23,000 people in an arena, we get 102,000 every Saturday in football. Yeah, basketball might not be quite as solid, but in terms of an overall fan base, it's Alabama, no doubt. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I, I, you know what? I, the camping out uh, isn't necessary. It sounds like they got a homeless problem in Kentucky <laughs> with everybody camping out. Uh, yeah, they get some condos down there. Let's stick with you. Actually, Hunter, let's compare famous fans, if you will. Alabama has Jake the Fakes Blankenship. Kentucky has the beautiful Ashley Judd. Which would you rather have on your side? I'd rather have Ashley Judd by my side right now, but in terms of a fan, I mean, I'd rather have somebody who actually goes to every game than some marginal celeb who shows up at two times a year and gets on TV. So I'm going to have to go with our guy. Come on, Vincent. You got to defend your girl. I mean, it's not like I she mean, still goes there. She has a life. It's hard for her to get down to Lexington every game. Come on, Hunter. Yeah. I mean, I got to say, like, she shows up, but I mean, we also have other celebs come, but let me ask you, how many movies has the face guy been in? <laughs> I haven't heard of one yet, so, and, uh, how back many, to how, many, how many movies has Ashley Judd been in the last decade? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but we travel to national championships also, so, you Yeah, know. that's true. Uh, and Double Jeopardy was a classic. How dare you be smirched a good name of an Ashley Judd? <laughs> All right, now, Vincent, I got to ask you, I know you saw this highlight last week of the dude that was going down through the stands at Rupp Arena, going over the handrail. I'm sure you saw it. It was all over the place. Now, is that just a ploy to make sure that other teams are intimidated and don't touch any of the handrails? Uh, that, that is a little intimidation thing that we have. I mean, we love our fans. That's the fan support we get. I mean, it doesn't matter. They come in, they go, they have fun. They dance, you know. I do a little dance if you wanted me to. So, I mean, that's just what we do. Uh-oh, I <laughs> think he said he could do a dance, didn't he? Well, oh, let's man. see it. It's MLK Day. We got Stop the it. dance on? Progress, progress, man. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't you do it. All right, Hunter, I think he's challenging you. Hunter, I think he's challenging you to do a dance off, but I don't know if any of us want to see that. But Hunter, tell us this. I mean, it's no secret that Alabama's probably going to get blown out in this game. Do you think the fans could make some kind of a difference? You're talking like this is 1980s Rush, Russia versus U.S. hockey. We're, they're a three and a half point favorite. Okay, the last time they came into into Tuscaloosa, they had a better team they do this year, and they still got run out of the building. We're gonna do the same thing tomorrow night. Wow, Ooh. wow, that's pretty strong smack talk. Hunter, it is, it is. Hunter, let's 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 look them right between the eyes. What makes you a better fan than the rep? Not fan bases, you and him, mano a mano. In 2006, 2008, I missed two SEC basketball games, home or away, um, which probably had a lot to do with me spending seven years in undergrad. Uh, but, I mean, I just love Alabama basketball. It's hard to be an Alabama basketball fan. It's easy to be a Kentucky basketball fan. They win all the time. Alabama, you know, we struggle. By God, if we get to a Sweet 16, we're happy as hell about it. So, I think I'm a better fan than he is. All right, Vincent, that's that's tough talk. You, you got It is. Are you a Kentucky football fan? And what? I, how many years have you spent at Kentucky thus far? I'm a UK fan. Football, basketball, any sport. And I mean, 
I've lived in Lexington, Kentucky my whole life, so I was born a Wildcat fan. So, I mean, uh, I put in 19 years. I'm a sophomore this year, and I'm already known. So, I mean, you know, you tell me who's a bigger fan. And also, um, I sleep with a Ryan Harrell fathead every night, just to let you all know. So, you know, shout out to Ryan Harrell. <laughs> That's pretty impressive right there, Vincent. I'm I didn't impressed. even get that fat <laughs> I didn't even know they made it. You could get anybody fat heads now? I can definitely do it. All right. I got to ask you, Danny, yep. who's the most embarrassing fan? The Kentucky guy on the railing or Alabama T-Bag guy? <laughs> you know, the, the Alabama T-Bag guy did get some a lot of publicity. Yeah. Uh, but he was on the, the stronger side of that argument, so I'm going to say the Kentucky fan with the handrail. Okay. And they poisoned the trees. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alabama's crazy. All right, Rob, where are you going? Uh, I'm liking the ref, man. The guy has a fat head he sleeps with. Yeah. You know, it is that much okay after all. Why you got to make it? I'm just saying, you guys are teaming up. All right, look, I, I, I actually think Alabama has the craziest fans. But it is MLK Day, and you are a detriment to society. It's all about peace and love and coming together. And that's why I got to go KY. But I do want to thank Hunter Johnson, Alabama alum. Thanks so much for coming on the show. We got to have you back. I want to thank Vincent Swope, Kentucky sophomore, also known as the rep. And new champion of the Blogger Throwdown. He's free at last. Free at last. All right. Can I give one shout out? Go ahead. I like to shout out Brady Kennedy, he's uh, the UK manager. So I mean every game I'm in his ear, so much love to you, Brady. And my mom and dad, thank you. There you go. Hunter, you wanna send a shout out to your dial up service? Yeah, I wanna send a shout out to uh, actually to you, Danny, for your pick in the national championship game. Good one. There we go, you game. Nice. If nice anybody's done. out nicely done, hey, if anybody's out the pass of Alabama fans, just check my Twitter. Why'd you wait till the end for that, man? <laughs>